everyone, welcome. I hope we're all doing well. Today it's March, it's time for this month's witch basket, which is the UK based witchy alternative subscription box. So we will not talk too much, I'll put information about it down below, but we will just dive in and have a look at this month's box. Do you know the theme is like moon style, moon magic, um, which I do believe the first ever box that I filmed was also moon magic with the same theme. So that makes me feel kind of old for some reason. But anyway, let's just dive in and see what's in this year's moon magic box. Right on top we have the leaflet that will tell us everything that is in the box. We don't want to look at that though, we want to be surprised. But there's this kind of like boho celestial style, which I'm a big fan of. So hopefully that carries on throughout the box. And um, that will tell us everything that's in there, so we, just, we don't want that right now. Um, next up is our art, which is very pretty. I like this one. Again, that kind of boho celestial vibe, if you know what I mean. We've got a big moon, kind of in a crystal ball kind of style. We've got all these little celestial patterns hanging down. And they actually, you probably won't be able to see on camera, they're kind of like foiled, so there's a bit of shine to them. They're with like an eye and the moon phases. Very pretty, I like it. Um, these little dangly bits remind me there's a tattoo artist called Indigo Forever, who love her stuff. I would love to have some of that. Um, it really reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty little artwork for this month. Then we have our little ritual pouch which is something we get every single month. And this one is Waning Moon Letting Go Ritual Kit. Contains everything you need to release that which no longer serves. So what is inside? So we have a candle, or well, two candles, what's this? Oh, it's a pencil, I think. A little unsharpened pencil, which is like a cute, um, little design on the end, kind of the same as what's on the booklet front and hanging from the top of the artwork. And um, there is a white candle, two herbs, which are kind of indistinguishable. This one looks like it might be sage or something. Kind of just smells like the baggie. Not too sure, but that's okay. There will be a leaflet. So, white candle, marjoram and lemon balm, pencil, paper, and fire retardant dish. Um, so I'm guessing it's like a write things down and burn them kind of deal, basically. Um, but it's cute, I like that they want to the effort of putting a little bit of pattern on the pencil. I don't own a pencil sharpener, it's the only little hitch on that giddy up, but uh, it is a very cute little pencil. Um, so that's our little kit for this month. Okay, then we have one of these little velvet pouches. They seem to be doing these quite a lot in boxes now, these like velvet printed little bags. This one is witchcraft and it's got a game, it's kind of like pentacle celestial style pattern on it. And this one feels kind of like a stick. And it is a stick or wand if you prefer to use the fancy terminology. Um, it's quite pretty, it's just like plain wood, but then it does have the moon phases just on the end there. It's very like swish and flicky feeling, if you know what I mean. Um, there is a little card, which is stuck in the bag. Uh, da -da -da -da. Magic Beach Wood Wand. The archetypal magical tool used to channel and direct energy and cast protective circles. Lovingly crafted from beechwood, a sacred wood which symbolises feminine energy and wisdom. Um, so there we go, our little wand. I do like this little card, it's got like a, the zodiacs and things. Just a little celestial extra. But that is quite pretty. Um, it's good for pointing at things and things. It's quite like a lightweight little wooden wand, but quite cute. I do like the little moon phases down the bottom. Next we've got our pin for this month, and this is like an unusual one. Every month there's a pin, but they're usually kind of more round-ish shaped. They're usually all different shapes, but this is the first one I think we've had, which is a long one like this. It's like a double-backed pin. 
It's like a long rectangular one and it's just got the different moon phases. So I went quite simple but quite nice. I kind of prefer them when they're a bit more simple in design. Um, but yeah, quite nice. It's a slightly different shape for this month and it feels quite heavy in things. So yeah, that's quite a nice one. Um, then we've got what I will assume is our tea. Again, tea is something that you get each month, but it's always a different one. This one is in quite pretty packaging. This is full moon tea. And again, it's got this kind of like celestial vibe. And it is chrysanthemum and dandelion. Mm, I think that's, yeah, just chrysanthemum and dandelion. So no like black or green tea in it at all. And the affirmation they've put on this month's tea is blessed full moon, I ask of thee that favour and fortune come to me. I release what's not meant to be and ground myself with this warming tea. That's what they've put on there. So that's that one. I can't say I've ever had like chrysanthemum and dandelion together. So that'll be an interesting one. Anyway, just want to say I do like the packaging design. We've got our stone and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it might be a bit of moonstone. It is, oh it's pretty, oh it's got a moon on it, oh I like it, you probably, I don't know if you are see because it's kind of silver on like a greyish background, oh and there's a little flash of moonstone just above it so it's definitely moonstone, um, but it's got like a little crescent moon carved into it, I do kind of prefer it when they put some sort of carving on just because these like pebbly tumble stones I don't really know what to do with, they're just there if you know what I mean. Um, whereas if they've got a little carving on that does just make them feel a bit more special, a bit more different. So yeah, this one's got a pretty little moon on it. And it is a rainbow moonstone. The rainbow moonstone has a powerful feminine energy which aids spiritual healing, heightens psychic ability and offers psychic protection. It also helps to deflect negative energy and promotes a feeling of well-being. So we go, a little moonstone got a couple of pretty flashes in it and um, then just carved with a little crescent moon on the front so that's quite pretty um, oh something round is it a crystal oh no it's not I got excited I pulled out this bag and it felt very round it's like oh maybe we've got like a massive crystal in a sphere but no there's something it's got a shaft so let's have a look oh okay and this is pretty as well so it's just a little glass bottle but on the front it's got a very simple like little crescent moon design um so yeah just quite pretty it's like a very dark bluish gray and then, yeah just a little pretty pattern on the front it's basically if you have to see it better on here it's like this pattern which has been like stamped onto the front um so you probably have to see it a bit better on this bag that it came in Here's a card. Uh, moon water bottle. Harness moon energy and add it to your magic. Use this enchanting bottle to create and store magical moon water. I'll probably store something else in it to be fair just because I think it's a really pretty one and I'd like to have it on display more. Um, yeah, but it's just like a proper old fashioned kind of potion bottle, you know? But yeah, nice, pretty extra to have this on the front. The other little jars they've given us lately have been just kind of the plain hexagon ones. Um, so this is just a little bit extra prettiness on it. Then there's something on a stick, which I'm guessing is like a wall hanging type thing. Um, okay, oh, it's quite long. That's quite pretty. Well, okay, and there's a string, I'm guessing to hang it up with. Um, it's quite a pretty design. I'm not really a fan of this type of fabric. I don't even know what you describe this fabric as. It's like that really loose weave. Um, yeah, I don't really know. It feels like um, if you've ever done like cross stitch and you have proper cross stitch fabric, it's kind of like that. Um, but yeah, it's quite a pretty design on it. And I'm guessing it's supposed to tie the rope like each side like that to hang it up. Um, so yeah, quite a pretty pattern. Again, that kind of like celestial boho type vibe, which I am a fan of. So yeah, quite a pretty design. And let's pull out our incense because that's something you get every month these days. And this is a full moon incense. Cinnamon and 
lavender, protecting and calming. Uh, it's in quite a simple, kind of celestial little box. It's just got really, really tiny little zodiac signs all over it. I can kind of smell down with cinnamon. It's quite interesting to put cinnamon and lavender together. Yeah, I can smell both. Apologies if you can hear whatever god awful motorbike that is outside. Somebody needs a tune up. Yeah, they smell kind of interesting. They definitely get like cinnamon. It kind of reminds me of an essential oil we got from ages ago, but that was like cinnamon, orange, and patchouli. But it's got that same kind of herby cinnamon smell. But yeah, you can also tell there's lavender in there. And um, yeah, that's our incense for this month. And they've put an affirmation on here of full moon, lend me your energy, give my magic potency as I will it, so wrote it be. So there we go, big pack of incense. Okay, then last thing before our scroll, moon phase affirmation deck powerful magical tool to help you to focus on the positive and enchanting affirmation deck to encourage confidence and promote mindfulness. Okay, and again, these have got this super pretty pattern on them, so that's the back of them. So kind of similar to what is on the wall hanging, and I do think that's really pretty. Um, and then on the front of them, there's all these different celestial moons. So all different ones, all quite pretty, these little dangly bits and some are more like chunky filled in ones. That is quite pretty artwork on them. Um, I'm not like a huge deck kind of person, I don't really have a lot of use for them, but this is super pretty. I do like the art style that they've gone for. It's just kind of my personal style, so I do like it. I like the I like the backs and the fronts are both pretty, so that's always a bonus. And yeah, all this like celestial dangliness is right up my alley. So yeah, very pretty, very pretty. Yeah, so that's quite cute. Then finally, we have our scroll. And it is full moon magic. It's quite a chunky one. Oh, it goes through all the different uh, full moons. So March we are one moon, coming up on the pink moon, etc. Yeah, so it's got all the different kind of full moons. So it's a bit more of a wordy one. So that is our scroll. Again, with this pretty celestial kind of style to it. So that was March's box. So, what do we think? I really like the style of it. Like all this kind of very delicate celestial stuff is something that I really like. Um, I have a lot of jewelry, which I think is that kind of similar delicate celestial kind of style. Like I said, there's a tattoo artist that I really like called Indigo Forever, and I feel like there's a lot of similarities there. So if you like the style, maybe have a look on their Instagram. Um, so yeah, aesthetically, I find it very pleasing. Um, I don't think there's really like a standout item for me. I really like the crystal this month just because it had that pretty little moon. The potion bottle is very pretty. The deck is really pretty. Everything's very pretty. I don't know if there's anything that's like, oh my gosh, yes, I really needed this. Um, but it's all pretty and I appreciate that. So you'll have to let me know what you thought of it, what your favourite items were, etc. Did it give you that moon vibe? It'll be interesting, oh no, I do know what we're having next month, I was about to say it'll be interesting to see what we have next month, because last time they did a moon magic one, the next month was a sun magic, but I saw on the Instagram that it's another element box next month, so it won't be the sun. Um, like I said, this is the second moon magic box that I've gotten. I've had moon magic, I've had sun magic, it would be kind of nice, I think, to have a more celestial one, like stars, astrology or something. Like, I'm not into astrology. But I'm into the aesthetic of it and I feel like a lot of people are into astrology and the people that are will appreciate the aesthetic so it might be a good one to please lots of people but that's just my thoughts you'll have to let me know what sort of boxes you would like to see in the future 
But anyway, I'm waffling, so I'll stop. Let me know if you like this one, um, all your favourite items, etc. I'll be back next month with the next one, and I'll hopefully see you all again soon. Bye, everyone!